Hey guys, how are y'all doing tonight? Today I am going to be making a custom Christmas order. This is a 18 wreath, uh, inch wreath frame. We're going to be doing a large wreath tonight. Custom order. Now I'm just attaching some pipe cleaners. I'm doing, keeping these pipe cleaners long and attaching them to the outer ring. We're going to be doing this wreath a little bit different tonight. So we're going to attach all of these right to the outer ring. I'm going to be using 21 Deco Mesh for the base. This is an extra large wreath, and it is a custom order. How's everyone doing tonight? Also waiting for my hot glue gun to warm up. This is the sign. It's going to be Merry Christmas. Let me take the sticker off the back. Um, these girls are fellow hairdressers, and their room is black, silver, and pink so this whole wreath is going to be black silver and pink themed it's gonna be super glam super cute I might add a few little Christmas ornaments to it we're gonna do a really big bow right now I'm just attaching some pipe cleaners and leaving them long I attached eight to the outer brackets and right now I'm going to attach eight more to the inner brackets but or not to the inner brackets and to the inner ring middle ring right in the middle on that first ring so they're not going to be on a bracket I'm just attaching all these pipe cleaners. This um, wreath frame is from the Dollar Tree, and it is an 18-inch wreath frame. So I'm just building the base up right now. Hey, how's everyone doing tonight? I've had the craziest week. We've been so busy with Christmas programs up at the school, planning Christmas parties for the kids. Up at the school it's been crazy but good okay so it's looking kind of crazy so we do one on the outer ring on the bracket and then one in that middle in between the brackets and we do that for every section all the way around thank you how are you tonight so right now, I am going to add some hot glue to my sign, and we are going to do, ooh, I just touched my hot glue gun, we're going to go off-centered, so I'm going to do some hot glue in the corners, and then attach my pipe cleaners right down. Make sure those are nice and secure. Rotate that one back around. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, <laughs> let me talk about my daughter's Christmas program. Guys, she was the cutest little angel. They held up, but she was like 20 seconds into the first song she spots me in the audience and loses it she starts crying <laughs> and she just wanted mommy so the teacher also spotted me and she was like get over here <laughs> so i ran over there and me and my daughter just um we had front row tickets to her show, basically, and um, she did not finish the performance, 
And right when she sat down with me, she took off her angel wings. But it's okay. She looked cute for the two minutes she was in it. Alright, so I'm going to grab my 21 inch deco mesh. I'm going to throw it off my table. I'm just going to fold that in half. Gather it in my hand. And I'm going to lay that right down into a pipe cleaner. So this is going to be a very non-traditional color Christmas wreath, and this is a custom order. And we are going to do same thing, those 10 inch poofs that I love. Measure out 10 inches. And then we are going to go right into that next bracket on the inner ring. Lay that down. Give it a few good twists, make sure it's nice and tight. And we are going to do that all the way around. And we aren't going to skip any pipe cleaners. And we are just going to keep on going. Hey guys, if you're just joining in, tonight I am making a Deco Mash large wreath tonight. And this is a custom order. And right now, I'm just doing 10 inch poofs all the way around, not skipping any pipe cleaners. But this way that I'm doing, it makes a little bit more full, so it makes this wreath a little bit bigger. And then we're keeping these pipe cleaners long because we are going to attach our cruffles right here and our ribbon tails. So we're going to be using the same pipe cleaners for this whole wreath, which gets challenging as you see because I'm already getting tied up in it. Y'all have any weekend plans? It's Friday night. I can't believe it's still 80, 80 degrees here in Texas, in Houston. I felt ridiculous dressing my kids up in winter clothes for their Christmas programs. Oh, and then <laughs> my son um, program was yesterday, and he was on the back riser waving to us, and he, he fell off. He fell off the riser. Girl, I'm sorry. I know. Craft Outlet, guys, it's it's the best, though. I promise you, you won't be disappointed when you get your stuff in. It's the best quality. I mean, this, um, this deco mesh I'm using right now is from there. I love them. They have such cool stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's totally fine. He's totally fine, guys. Like, my mama heart. I was, like, taking pictures, and I was like, oh, my God. And then he fell, and I was like, oh, my Oh my god. But he climbed up back onto the risers and he was totally good. Sang both songs, like he didn't even skip a beat. I'm gonna move this deco mesh up here, so I'm not getting tangled in it. I'm on the struggle bus tonight with this deco mesh. He's told thank goodness. Well, then I felt bad because during the performance, another little boy slipped off the risers. I felt so bad. All right, guys, so I'm doing 10 inch poofs all the way around. And I'm not skipping any pipe cleaners. And we're leaving these pipe cleaners long. <laughs> Oh, y'all, I also think I made the Tiki Talkie mad um, because my last few videos, I've been talking about other social media platforms. Well, all of a sudden, my views started tanking. So, um, 
I'm not going to be mentioning any other social media platforms for a while. Um, the video I posted today is already doing way better. So I guess all of those TikTok influencers are right when you talk about other platforms on here. They totally shun you. <laughs> I was like, okay, learned my lesson. I won't talk about them anymore. All right, almost done doing those 10 inch poofs in every single pipe cleaner. And then when I'm done, I'll kind of poof out all of my mesh and um, show the camera what it's looking like. It's gonna be a little gappy, um, but it's cool because we're gonna add more deco mesh in between it. Aw, thanks for watching it. All right, this is the last one. Yeah, I was totally like, oh, lesson learned. Don't talk about the other things while you're on here. All right. So I'm just going to take these poofs and fluff them out. Kind of spread them for some better coverage. Yeah, this was, uh, I had to wait for my craft, my craft outlet order to get ready to start doing these custom orders. But I have this, guys. Um, this is the only one I'm going to do tonight. Um, but I do I have two custom swags I need to make, too. So I'll probably hop on here Um tomorrow night after I get back from the hair studio um, and Sunday and finish out those other custom orders I need to get done. Everybody likes it when I make the swags. I guess because they're just so different. They're really easy too and cost effective. You don't spend a whole lot of money on them. Okay, and remember we're going to keep these pipe cleaners long because we're going to be adding everything to them. Okay, so that's what that's looking like. So it's just 10 inch poofs going from top to bottom, but I did eight on the top bracket and then eight in between, so it's not on a bracket. So. That is what that's looking like. You know, I don't make homecoming moms, but I saw that TikTok trend where it was like, tell me how much your mom cost. And once I found out how much people pay for those things, I think I'm going to get into that also because holy guacamole, people pay a lot of money for that. Okay, so this is a non-traditional Christmas wreath, guys. So their hair studio is black, silver, with a splash of pink. So that's what we're going to be doing with our deco mesh tonight. We have 16 sections, so it's not gonna be even number divided by three. Um, we have 18? No, we have 16. I was like, 18 does go into three. <laughs> we have 16 sections. Um, so I will be doing more, um, I'm going to do one more silver, and that's where I'll put the sign behind. So I'll just make the sign pop out a little bit more. So we are going to cut 25-inch sections off of our deco mesh. Since this one's almost out, let me grab my scissors. I'm going to cut this end off. It's not very pretty. Hey! Whose studio is this for? Um, hot, don't get me lying, girl. Um, Misty. And oh my god, I cannot remember the other girl's name. I love them though. They're right by Debbie's office. Really? Hey, Illinois, by the way. 
All right, so we are doing 25 inch sections and we're gonna do one extra silver because it is an odd number. Well, it's an even number, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So we'll do five, five black at 25 inches. And we are going to do five silver. I, yeah, I did make Leah's. Do five of these. Yeah, that was so cute how um, her customer had all those Christmas ornaments and she was like, I don't know what to do with these, Courtney, make something. And I was like, all right, on it. I'll figure something out. <laughs> I was actually on live making that one. I was kind of on the struggle bus attaching all those ornaments, but we got through it. gosh guys I hate when they do this when they like you know end a roll and then they start another roll <sighs> within your roll <laughs> I also hate when they do that with ribbon when you're like pulling through ribbon and it just stops and you're like oh cool all right thanks or they bind it together all awkwardly oh the struggle of a wreath maker okay so five silver five black thank you and um six oh my god thank you <laughs> six silver oh my gosh what would i do without you thanks okay so six silver when i tell y'all it's been a week it's been a week y'all want to hear the tea <sighs> so my son's homeroom teacher quit like um, two months ago and my son's teacher and I have a really good relationship so she asked me to be the new homeroom mom and I was like sure no problem this is gonna be great so I become the homeroom teacher everything's fine Ooh, I don't know if this is the same pink. Oh, no, that's cool. Um, everything's all all gravy. And then um, I start, my daughter goes to the same school. She's in preschool. And I start, I said, I'll be more than happy to help the room mom plan the Christmas party. So she reaches out to me. We start coordinating and planning this Christmas party. Mind you, they only have one more week of school. Well, this homeroom mom texted me today and was like, hey, I'm pulling my kid from the class today. Today's his last day, so I don't think it's appropriate for me to keep on planning his party. So now I'm planning two Christmas parties. So y'all pray for me. It's, it'll be fine. But I'm just, I'm just so annoyed when people don't follow through on what they're supposed to do. Okay, so let's start attaching these. I'm going to start off with the two silvers since I'm going to do that back to back and that's where the sign's going to be. Ooh. And we're going to do cruffles. Okay, this is a hot mess. i got too many pieces over here. Okay, so we are going to... Let that deco mesh roll in on itself. Pinch the middle. Walk your fingers to the other side and get your little cruffle. And then we are just going to pick wherever, lay that right into those pipe cleaners, give it a few good twists, and then I'm just going to squeeze that cruffle together so it fits in between those poofs. That's why I was like, don't worry about these poofs if they're a little gappy. 
because um, we're, be, we're going to be adding all this deco mesh in between. So it's going to be just fine. All right, let that deco mesh roll in. Pinch the middle. Walk your hands to the other side. Lay that right into the pipe cleaner. Give it a few good twists. And then just squeeze that in between that poof. Okay. And then we go with pink next. Same thing. Ooh, I have a question for y'all who watched my um, TikTok videos. Would you rather me do it in subsections or just post one longer video and just do the whole project in one video? Do you get annoyed when people do parts? I don't know. My reasoning behind I do parts is because I feel like there's so much and I can't get it all in within three minutes. Um, cause that's all TikTok allows. What's y'all thoughts on that? Do y'all get annoyed by doing part one, part two? Would you rather just have it in all one video? What are your thoughts on that? If y'all have an opinion, longer videos. Just got here. What are you making? I am making a extra large custom order wreath, um, out of deco mesh. We started the base off with 21 inch deco mesh and we did that 10 inch poof, but I attached my pipe cleaners a little bit differently this time. And right now we're on the cruffle part. So I am attaching cruffles to all the pipe cleaners right now. And this is a non-traditional Christmas wreath. It is, uh, it matches, so I work, I'm actually a hairdresser, um, and so some girls in my studio wanted a custom wreath, and their theme in their room is black, silver, and pink. So, that is what we're doing tonight, and we got this super cute, just pretty simple black Merry Christmas sign. It does have a little shimmer, the light doesn't really pick it up very well, but it has a little shimmer to it. But their room is very glam. It's super cute. It has like um, Marilyn Monroe and um, just super, super cute in there. Super glittery. So I got some really fun glitter ribbon to put on this wreath. I know, that's what I felt like too. Okay, so like lately when I've been adding my videos, I've been doing parts and then I do... At the end, I do a faster all like all together one because I'm like just trying to make everyone happy. All right, we are doing three different colors of cruffles: silver, black, and pink. Laying those right into those pipe cleaners. Hey, also, if y'all don't mind tapping y'all screen and liking my video, because um, if you just joined, I think I made TikTok mad. Um, because in some of my videos, I talk about other social media platforms, and you're not supposed to do that. And so now, <laughs> now I feel like they've like shunned my profile picture or my TikTok, not my profile. My TikTok. I'm not doing as well as I was. I don't know. That's my theory in my head. So if you like my little, my live, please click the screen so other, it'll show up on other people's FYPs. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Let that deco mesh roll in on itself a few times. Pinch the middle. Walk your hands to the other side. That's your cruffle. And just lay that right into those pipe cleaners. Y'all wanna kinda see if that's what's 
That's what it's looking like so far. Alright, we're just gonna keep on going. Almost to the end. Almost there. Oh, thanks for sharing my life too. That helps also. I really appreciate it. Oh, I just untwisted <laughs> my pipe cleaner. Alright, tuck that up. Grab the pink. Um, I got my cross frames from the from the Dollar Tree guys. I hate spending a lot of money um, on the bases. Those pre-made bases, I mean, they're fabulous, but they're expensive. So I bought my crosses from the Dollar Tree. And I'm one of those people that if I see them, I grab like 10 because it's definitely hit or miss at the Dollar Tree whether they have them in stock or not. A lot of people don't like it when you do that, but I'm like, whatever, I know I'm going to use them. All right, just a few more sections left. Let me grab that silver. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks for all the new likes and the shares. I know, I'm really curious, too, if people are getting my notifications, too. I'm going to ask, I'm going to have to ask my family to see if they got notified that I was um, live or not. Oh yeah, you can totally can you can you order them in smaller quantities though? Um I do actually that is how I I buy my 14 inch and my 18 inch online and I buy them in bulk because I know I'm gonna use them all. I don't know how many crosses you have to buy though. Oh you did get the notification? Okay, cool. Thank you. Thanks guys. Thanks for letting me know. I'm not completely in the doghouse with TikTok, I guess, then. All right, this is my last section. All right, and we're going to keep those pipe cleaners long because we are going to add our ribbon tails and our bow right on top of that. So that's what this is looking like. Super fun. So what I did, just to refresh, I did one pipe cleaner on all the outer brackets, and then I went in between those brackets and added pipe cleaners on the smaller ones. Okay, it's about to get a lot prettier once I add the big bow and all that um i'm going to i'm just cutting off some smaller ribbon because when i do these really big wreaths i like to use my easel so i can like really see what's going on oh you know what hold on let me attach my sign first so i know what's the top versus the bottom and so my sign i just added some hot glue Ooh, that'll be fun to have that pink right there. Added some hot glue and some pipe cleaners, and I am just going to thread this right through that double silver silver <laughs> that I did. And I'm going to cut off um, those pipe cleaners now that are with the cruffles because we're not going to need them anymore. So I'm just going to cut them and then tuck that extra. Cut this. Cut that random deco mesh that's coming off. Okay, and then we're gonna thread this through that double silver. 
And this is going to be um, off side, and I'm going to do a big bow to balance it on the other side with some tails. It's going to be super, super cute. So I'm just threading this through the deco mesh. Pulling in a little bit. I'm not going to secure it until I get this other side through. I'm just threading it right through. Or trying to. That deco mesh. Okay, and I'm going to take my hand. I'm going to flip this over so I can see where I'm attaching the sign to because I want to find a bracket so my sign doesn't move too much. Hey! Hey guys! All right. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, so that's the little sign. And see that silver, it doesn't even matter that we did the double silver because it's just hidden. It looks just like one big silver. Okay, so that's going to be down there in the corner. I think I'm gonna try to make, let's see. Yeah, this bracket right here is gonna be the top. So I just cut off some thinner ribbon. Hey, North Carolina. And um, just tying it onto that bracket, and that's how we're going to hang it from the door. And that's also how I'm going to hang it from my easel, so we can kind of see what we're working with. Well, I guess, well, no, this will go on their door. Okay, just sweep this off. And then I'm gonna bring my easel over here so it's in frame. That's good, right? Yeah. Can y'all see that? Yeah, okay, perfect. We're gonna make a bow for it. And then um, we will do ribbon tails and really make this wreath start coming to life. Y'all, I have the worst luck with this stupid wire. Like, look at this. Like, I just bought it, and it's it's a hot mess already. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. I'm, like, trying to pull from this. It just won't even pull. Ugh. I don't think I'm going to buy these anymore. Because the last one exploded that I had. And then I have the other side over here. But if you look at it, it's all threaded around. Am I not supposed to pull this out from the bottom, guys? I don't know what I'm doing. Hold on. I got to I gotta thread this through. Let me get my needle nose. Oh, I thought that was the end. Okay, hold on. Here's the end. Oh my gosh. I'm, this must be so boring. I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. Hey! <laughs> okay, I might have fixed it. Okay. Alright, so we are going to cut off some floral wire. And that's what we're going to use for our bow. Okay, and like I said, this is going to be super glam, guys. So I got... A little touch of pink because I just wanted a little bit of pink hints. Yeah, I'm gonna start. I gotta buy my something easier. Look how fabulous this! It's black and gold striped. I love this. And then this is the one and a half. And then super glam super super silver and that's it we're just going to be using three ribbons tonight 
actually I think this one has less let me use this one first yeah this one has less somehow I opened up two of these okay we are going to take a drink thank you and make a bow for over here and I'm gonna do some awesome tails um yeah, we're going to do 12 inch tails. So you're just going to find that 12 inches and pinch it and hold it in between your pointer and your thumb. And then we are also going to do 12 inch loops. So you're just going to measure out another 12 inches, bring it together. And y'all know this is glitter ribbon, so it stinks to work with it, but the results are going to be fabulous, so it'll be worth it. Another 12 inches, just measure that out. Bring it together in your hands. We're going to do four loops because we're only using three colors of ribbon for this. Because like I said, their room is very glam, very Marilyn Monroe super glam so I am thinking glitter and glam that up okay and then we are going to do we'll pull that tail down and cut off at the 12 for another 12 inch tail and just hold that and we will fluff this out a little bit Okay, then we're going to grab, and this is two and a half inch wired ribbon, and this is from Michael's. Um, this one is from Craft Outlet. Of course it is. Okay, measure out that 12 inches again, and you're just going to lay it right on top, and I'm going to shrink my loops by one inch so we are going to do 11 inch loops and we're going to do four of those again Woo! i'm going to be so glittery tomorrow all right four 11 inch loops and then Cut off another 12 inch tail. Just manipulate that ribbon where you want it to go. Looking like this. I'm going to grab the skinny pink. Okay, sorry, I gotta fluff. This is gonna, that's gonna annoy me. I gotta fluff those up. Okay, we're gonna grab this the one and a half inch glittery pink. This is also from Craft Outlet. And we are going to do, I'm gonna shrink the tail by an inch, do 11 inch tails, and just lay that right down on top again and shrink those loops again to 10 inches shrink them down another inch the reason why i shrink my loops is so you can see the ribbon behind it we're going to do four loops again at 10 inches oh, twisting this as i go i didn't twist my ribbon the right way so all the glitter is showing and another 11 inch tail so that little pop of pink then we are going to grab the other one and a half inch this is from craft outlet and this is just the smaller black and silver striped 11 inches. I'm going to lay that right on top. 
I'm gonna still keep this at 10 inches for these loops though, because it is a smaller ribbon. We're gonna do two 10 inch loops, and then I'm gonna flip the ribbon to the back side, and then just flip it over your thumb. Just flip it over, make a loop right over your thumb, and that is where we're gonna thread our wire through. I don't measure that one. Some people ask me. I have no idea. Just enough so it hides everything. Okay, and then we're gonna grab the wire and thread it through. Maybe if it's cooperating. Isn't it fabulous? I know, I was so excited that they asked me to make this wreath for them. It's gonna be so glam. Okay, pull this wire through. Give it a few good twists. Ugh, make sure it's nice and tight. Spin it around a few times. Woo! Oh my gosh, it's already looking fabulous and I haven't even fluffed it. Okay, so cute. I'm gonna lay it down on my table. Fluff out the loops. Kind of manipulate where I want them to go. All right, and then we are going to dovetail all of these beautiful ribbon tails. And then I'll show y'all what it's looking like. Um, so if you're local, I sell this wreath for $75. If you're not local, um, it would be plus shipping, which on a wreath this size is probably gonna be Minimum like $35. Shipping's outrageous, guys. I'm not, I'm so annoyed with how much shipping is. All right, and oh, dovetailing, you just fold that ribbon in half and cut at an angle. And then you get that super cute little V. Oh my gosh. I am, I'm gonna have to take a shower before I get in bed. This, this glitter is gonna get everywhere. And I just washed my sheets yesterday. Okay. Fluff out that glitter. All right, how fun is that? So cute, so glittery, so fun. I'm loving this. This is perfect. All right, now we're gonna attach it to our wreath. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it takes practice, guys. It takes practice. Okay, so I'm gonna come over on this side. Ooh, isn't that fabulous? Yes, okay. So I'm gonna just thread that wire you probably can't hear me because I'm not talking to the camera. I'm just going to thread that wire right through the mesh. And once again, I want to find like a bracket so this um, bow doesn't slip and slide. So I'm just threading through my wire right now. And if you see my pajama pants, yes, I'm wearing pajama pants, guys. It's all good. No judgment here. Ooh, yes. All right, I'm gonna come to this back side. Find that bracket. And then once again, you don't wanna pull your bow to, like through the mesh. Like you want it just to sit on the mesh. 
So you don't really want to pull it too tight, but just tight enough that it feels secure. That was definitely a rookie mistake that I would always do. I would just pull and pull my ribbons and they would just, my bows would just sink down into my wreath and I'm like, why is this so ugly? <laughs> and then I watched, um, you know, just fellow wreath makers and got a lot of good helpful hints from them. Ooh, it's looking great already. Guys, I'm just going to lift this bow up a little bit and then cut off those pipe cleaners that I'm not going to be um, using anymore. Because we're not going to attach ribbon tails underneath your bow. So I'm just going to kind of tidy up the wreath a little bit as we go. Cutting off any pipe cleaners. Well, I don't know. We might use those. I'm going to leave those. So I just cut off the one pipe cleaner. Okay, so now we are going to make ribbon tails. And um, let me count how many pipe cleaners I have exposed. Um, oh, you know what, hold on, let me cut off this one because we're not gonna need that. But here, okay, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I have eleven pipe cleaners exposed. So we are just going to start wrapping our ribbon around our ribbon board. Um, I just got a piece of cardboard and measured 12 inches, and this is what I do. I just wrap my ribbon around that. Thank you, thanks guys. Ah, oh, perfect three times around, I love that. Okay, so this is the end of this ribbon. It was perfect, 12 and I love when it works out like that. If you don't mind, guys, um, tapping your screen and liking my video if you're enjoying it, that just helps um, helps my video show up on people's FYPs. At least I think it does. I talk TikTok lingo like I know it. I really don't. I just hear what other people say. <laughs> and thanks for sharing my live. I really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Oh, I see all the hearts. Thank you. Okay. What did I say? 11? Um, you know what? So I'm only using this. I'm going to do, I'm going to do pretty close. I think I'm going to do eight of these because I only have three different types of ribbon. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, this part, when I make these really large wreaths, I just kind of wing it. Um, I don't really have a set measurement, like a set, oh, I'm going to cut this many ribbon tails for this wreath. Um, I just kind of wing it as I go. And sometimes I might add a little bit more. Sometimes I won't use as many as I cut off. So right now, though, I have eight silver glitter cut off. Y'all, I, you know that glittery troll on the movie Trolls? That's, that's what I feel like right now. I have no idea what that guy's name is. But that's what this ribbon totally reminds me of. Okay. We are going to do... Four, five, I'm going to do eight of these, six, seven, eight, holy guacamole, thanks so much, thanks guys, I really appreciate you, like I said, if you just joined in, I'm pretty sure I'm in like TikTok jail, because I've talked about other social media platforms on here, and apparently you're not supposed to. Oops. So I feel like they put me in a box. <laughs> Which is cool. 
I'll make it out alive. I'm not worried. Okay. So now we have eight of those. Holy moly. I'm gonna, um, <laughs> wipe some of this glitter off of me even though there's no point. Okay, we're going to do, because there's 11, so we're going to do six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the reason why I used just the skinny pink, um, and I didn't do two and a half inch pink, is because they just wanted like a pinch of pink. You know, they didn't want the whole wreath to be pink. I think I did seven. Whatever. Okay. I was going to do six and then five of the other, but we'll just have probably an extra pink. No worries. And I'm just dovetailing all of this. Uh, I'm just folding that over and cutting at an angle. And then just setting them aside to get them ready. And then I'm going to take the other one and a half inch, the black and silver stripes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And all of those ribbons from Craft Outlet except for the pure silver glitter. That one's from Michael's. I did buy it last year, though, so I don't know if they still have it. Guys, can we talk about Hobby Lobby? I went in there last week, and there was no more Christmas Christmas ribbon. Um, I couldn't believe it. They had none left. I was so shocked. I had a custom order for peppermint swags which I'll do I'm not going to do it tonight but that's going to be my next wreath I make and I was like oh I'll just run into Hobby Lobby get some peppermint stuff and be done with it and there was none no ribbon I couldn't I was shocked okay guys so this is where you just kind of get creative with it and I just start layering these ribbons and just stack them right on top. We'll do a triple this time, but you don't have to do three every single time. I just literally lay them right on top of each other. Find the middle, pinch it, and then you're just gonna add this right to those pipe cleaners. Find the spot, and then add them in. And now we are done with those pipe cleaners, so just, Clip off that extra pipe cleaner, fold it down, and then you just manipulate those tails, kind of just spread them out how you want them to be. And there you go. And we're just going to do that all the way around. And you don't have to do three every time. You can just do some singles. Um, you can do doubles, triples. I wouldn't really recommend doing any more than three. I feel like, I don't know, three's pretty, that's a lot. Thanks, guys. Three's probably my limit. And we are just going to add those ribbon tails all the way around, keeping our wire cutters close by, just so we can cut off that extra pipe cleaner. And then just start manipulating those tails how you want them to be. So fun, so cute. Okay. And when I'm all done, I will totally take the wreath off and give y'all a, um, a close-up view of it. All right, got a little pipe cleaner down here. Oops, still black. Oh, you know what? I kind of like to do it opposite, though. Okay, let me do, let me do another silver and pink. 
And this is why I like to use the easel so I can really see like what the color is looking like as I go. Oh my gosh, I just said don't use the pink. And what I used the pink, guys. Who why didn't y'all yell at me? Hold on, I'm gonna do black. I just used the pink. I was gonna do black and silver because I did the pink and silver before. Thank you. Oh. Okay. Attach that right in. Okay. I know, sorry you can't really see what I'm doing. You're just seeing my gorgeous backside. Okay. We're just gonna fluff these out, just manipulate those tails. Here, I'll take it off so y'all can kind of see it right now and then We'll finish it up. <gasps> See how I'm just adding <laughs> those ribbon tails right into those pipe cleaners. And then you just keep on going around until you're all done. So it's pretty, it's pretty easy. It's just time consuming, you know? It's just tedious tedious work, but the end result is always fabulous. And just keep on going, layering those ribbons. And cutting off those extra pipe cleaners because we're not done. Another one down here. And it's always fun trying to find, you know, all the ribbon tails. <laughs> and just add these right into those pipe cleaners. Give them a few good twists. And then just manipulate how they want what how you want them to be. I'm gonna move to this side now. Okay, y'all still can see. Y'all, this easel, um, I got it at a garage sale, and there was a reason why it was at the garage sale. <laughs> it's definitely a hunk of junk, but you know, it's all good. All right, let's do a three layer. Pinch right in the middle. Lay that right on top of that pipe cleaner. You know, I'm gonna cut the wire off of this sign. I don't know why I didn't do that before, because this is, we don't need this. All right, cut the wire off the sign. Cause that's annoying. Okay. There we go. I'm going to cut those pipe cleaners. Tuck them in since we're done. And then just spread out your ribbon tails how you want them to look. Ooh, I'm going to dovetail that in butter. That one doesn't look cute. Okay. There we go. That looks better. Okay. We got a few more to go. Do silver and black. Pinch right in the middle. Add 
that right in. And just fluff these out. Cut off the extra wire. That pipe cleaner, we don't need it anymore. Tuck it in. Oh, hold on. My mesh was shutting. Okay, let's find the next one right over here. Let's do this gorgeous one with the pink. Give it a twist. Cutting off that extra pipe cleaner. Let's do a triple. Let's do black, silver, black. Pinch it. Manipulate the ribbon, arch it out, cut off that extra pipe cleaner, super glam, I am loving this. You're so sweet. You just, girl, you just gotta keep on practicing. I promise you'll get it. You will totally get it. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna do another, this one with pink. It took me a really long time to perfect bows. It really did. My bows, when I first started wreath making, they were, they were sad. They were really sad. I don't know. I, I said on here before, um, not today, but I've taken a local class before, and I feel like that really helped me, too, being in person and, like, hands-on. I feel like that that really helped me, like, understand. Because uh, it's, like, it's one thing watching someone on um, tube you, you know what I mean? Um, and then it's another you know, actually, like, being there in person with all the same supplies and doing, like, the same wreath, um, I feel like that really helped me with understanding how to make bows also. Okay, I have a few on the side. I'm going to do a couple up here, even though you're not really going to see them. but I got a few more cuts, so why not? We'll do one back here. And like, I've been approached to do wreath making classes. I do, oh, thanks for the rose. I think it would be fun, but I just, I don't have the space to do something like that. Okay, I think that's the only one I'm going to add on the side, though, because it's up at the top. Okay, I'm going to clean up the rest of these pipe cleaners underneath my bow. I'm not going to worry about these. But I do want to get rid of that long pipe cleaner so they don't show in my wreath and just tuck those pipe cleaners down. Spin it around and kind of just take another glance at it. Fluff out my bow, make sure 
I like everything. Say so if I want to add anything. I don't know, I feel like I need one more right here. Like I feel like this guy's gonna hang out below. I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna do one more like right, right here. I feel like that space is empty. Oh, which is perfect, look, I have one more left. But I wanna do, maybe I won't do a skinny. No, I like the skinny. Okay, we're gonna do, I wanna do um, this black and silver one for the top though. I'm gonna cut one more. <gasps> oh, good luck! Um, yes, you could totally come over and I would teach you. <laughs> I did, I had one of my girlfriends, um, last year, she came over and she made um, a holiday wreath and she had such a good time. So since I don't have any pipe cleaners exposed here, I'm just gonna grab a pipe cleaner and just make my own little, you know, same thing, just fold it in half, attach that pipe cleaner, and then you're just gonna thread this through the wreath. But I just feel like it needs something right here. And then I'm going to attach it. There's a bracket right back here that I see. So I am going to attach it back here to this bracket. Yeah, there we go. I just felt like there was like blank space right there. Fluff these out a little bit. Ooh, that's fabulous. And I like that. Okay, now I feel like I need to do one up at the top, the same thing. Because that just really made it pop. Okay, one more up at the top, and then I think I'll, I'll be happy. <laughs> okay, so let me cut out a um, couple more. We'll do a trio again. And I'm going to put it right um, at the top. Same with that black, silver, black pattern. <gasps> Ooh, good luck, girl. Oh, a hand heart. Thank you. Um... Tips and advice. Make sure, is it indoors or outdoors? Grab another pipe cleaner. Go above. Yeah, the craft show question, right? I saw that one. Outdoors. Okay. Have a tent for sure. Um, I recommend doing some sort of like grid to hang your wreaths on. Um, my husband made wooden posts to hang. Um... Oh, there's another question. Um, because if you hang them from your tent, they're just going to fly around if it's windy. Hold on, let me scroll. I didn't see the other questions. I know.
Oh, when you wire the big bow, did you attach each end of the wire to both sides of the bracket? Yes. Yeah, I'll show you the back, girl. I'll show you the back, and I'll show you where um, I thread through the um, the bow. Good question. Um, so make sure that your reads are, like, secure, and they're not going to, like, flare around. Um, credit card machines, I have a square. Um, definitely recommend that. Pegboard, perfect. Perfect. That's going to be so good. Yeah. That's going to be great. Okay, I'm going to thread this through real quick. I think I like it now. Yeah, this is so glam. I'm. This is so fun. Oh, I'm not even in the frame. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks. Ooh, good. You did a mock setup. That that's that's great advice too. God, I get burned on this thing all the time. I do love it. They should sponsor me. They should totally sponsor me. <laughs> Ooh, pegboard on a rolling rack. That's a really good idea, too, guys. Okay, let me take this off so y'all can see it closer. Fabulous. Okay, is that perfect? Yeah, right there. Look how fun this is. This is, like, perfect for their room. Like I said, it's very, like, Marilyn Monroe, very glitz and glam with a hint of pink. So not too, too much, just enough. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning in, and thanks for all your likes. I really appreciate it. I really, really do. Thank you. Thank you. Also, you know what's, what's kind of different advice for a craft show? Um, the last show I did, there was another wreath maker there, which was kind of uncomfortable, but, um, we talked about, like, our prices, and we were pretty much, thankfully, in the same price range, um, cause that can be kind of weird, too, like, if there's another wreath maker there, and one of y'all is priced too high or too low, then that can be, you know, that can be weird, so that's kind of good advice if you don't mind approaching people, there's other wreath makers there too just saying hey you know i just want to make sure that we're kind of in the same price point um just so you know one doesn't overshadow the other i don't honestly that's my goal for next year is to do more craft shows i've only done a handful <gasps> three oh my gosh what a nightmare Hey, do I follow you? I don't know what your real name is. Georgia Peach. Do you post? Do you post your stuff, girl? I want to see it. Yeah, I, would, I was mortified. So the first crash show I ever did, there was two other wreath girls. Okay. Okay, I'm going to look you up. Hey, Kimberly, nice to meet you. I'm Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, my first show I ever did, there was two other wreath girls, and I, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what protocol was. I didn't, I didn't know if I should approach them, you know, and talk about it. I had no idea, so I just kept to myself. But this last show, I, I liked that the girl came up to me and was like, hey, you know, this is my prices. Like, what are yours at? So I thought that was great. Hey! Fancy like that wreath. That's a cute name. Do you post too? I need to find y'all. Hold on. Y'all, this is good. I'm going to write y'all's names down. Because, you know, when you get off a live, I, I have no way of finding y'all. Unless you're one of my top watchers um, or gifters. But y'all don't have to give me gifts. Um, then that's the only way I know who watched. So let me grab my pen and paper. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find y'all. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm on the book of face also. <laughs> the book of face. Oh, hold on. Let me pull up my shirt. This is not that kind of show. Okay, G.A. Peaches. I'm going to find y'all. Because I love watching 1980. Okay. Kim's Craft Shop. Do I look crazy writing this stuff down in the camera? Okay. Kim's Craft Shop. <gasps> yes. Oh, my God. That's so fun. That's fun that you get to do it with your sister. I might I might already follow you then, Fancy Like That Reads. Because I feel like I follow a sister duo. Do you post a lot? Aw, thanks. You know what's so, you know what I hate about TikTok Lives is I can barely see y'all's usernames. Okay, I'm going to write that down. And same girl, I'm on, except for the, um, the last one you said that starts with a P, I'm not there. But I am on the, uh, the tube I don't know what I'm supposed to say anymore. <laughs> I don't want them to shun me again. Yeah, I think I do. Okay. Paula. Hey, Paula. Yeah, that was my goal this summer, guys. Fellow wreath girls. Um, and guys. I don't know if there's guys in here. Sorry. Um, my goal this summer was to post daily and I've been hitting it every day and then my TikTok went viral and I've just been riding the gravy train until this week um <laughs> I guess they finally found some of my videos and saw that I mentioned other social medias so I like plummeted but it's it's all good because now my book of face um has been taking off substantially so I just recommend y'all just post every day Is, are you kidding? That's the only way you are able to... Sp that is so crazy. Hey, California. Sorry, I missed that. Okay, Vicky. Nice to meet you. Paula and Vicky. I love it. I have... Yeah. I just... Okay, so I opened my you-know-what shop a year ago. And I posted a few wreaths, but I got super, super timid. And so I decided, ugh, this isn't for me. I don't want to do this. And then about a month and a half ago, I just went for it. And I've so far, I've made four sales. But it's only because I go on TikTok and I do lives and stuff. And people ask where I sell. And then they go and like my shop. Um... But I've never paid for advertising with them. At least not yet. You write me down? No. Jeez. Crafty crap. I think I follow you. Do I follow you? Your name sounds super familiar. Oh my gosh, guys. I can't see how many S's that is. Hold on. I gotta put my hand like that. Nope. That makes it worse. It's two S's. Okay. 
why they make y'all's names so translucent on here. Okay. I'm going to look y'all up when I get off of here. And what's your name? Is it Chase? Chas? Chas. Am I saying that right? <gasps> That's good, though. 11? How, how long have you been on there? How long has your shop been up? <gasps> Light up globes? Oh, I bet you those are gorgeous. Has. Since June. Well, okay. That's not terrible, though. That's like a couple of months. Oh, I was like, your name's Has? Okay. <laughs> okay, that makes sense now. <laughs> All right, nice to meet you. Okay, I'm so glad that y'all are chit-chatting with me. We can vibe off of each other. I know, I love following fellow people because it's like, I don't know if, if, if it was one of y'all that were in here the other day and they were like, I'm a feller, I'm a fellow, um, a fellow wreath maker. I hope you don't mind I'm in here. And I'm like, why would I mind? Like, this is how we learn. Um, we learn off of each other. And um, that's how we get our ideas and inspiration. You know, I love that not like we're stealing each other's ideas oh you know what I don't even think it needs it I actually pulled some Christmas ornaments to put on this wreath but I kind of think it would ruin it I kind of like it just like the way it is like super glam and super fabulous should I play with that I don't even think oh, I've got a bucket I'm, I know I'm not gonna like it though I got my bucket of I don't know I totally forgot that I was thinking about adding Christmas ornaments to this thing. I don't know. It's not terrible. No, I think I just like it with the ribbon. Yeah. I just like ribbon. Okay. I totally forgot that I put all those balls. Oh my gosh. I didn't show you how I touched my bow. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Let me address that. Oh, hold on. Let me read this. Yay! That's so good. Oh, that's good. At least... But that's the thing. It's like you got to start with friends and family and then just start... Um, <laughs> I know what you meant, girl. Just start growing and growing and growing your business. I think I missed something. Hold on. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Okay, let me show you. I'm so sorry. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see it. Okay, so this, this is where the wire is, and that's where the bracket. So that's where the bracket is. That's So I just thread that right through and attach it to this bracket so it's not going to go anywhere. You're not, you can't see it. I'm sorry. But yeah, you just attach it. I thread it through either side of the bracket and then joined it together and then um, twisted it and then pushed the wire down though. So it won't, um, you know, scratch your door. You know, I didn't even cut off these extra pipe cleaners. I got so excited that we're chit-chatting. Okay, let me cut these off and tuck them. I don't know. I really just like to utilize the brackets on my wreaths because um, I don't want that deco mesh sliding around. Now, this wreath is different because, you know, I used the inners, but since it's so much mesh, it kind of just all goes into place and it doesn't really move. But normally I do always like to attach my pipe cleaners to the bracket. You're welcome. I'm sorry it took me so long to answer your question. <laughs> I totally forgot. I got I got so distracted. <laughs> and thanks for the new follows and all the new joins. Joins? You know what I mean. What time is it? It is 1030. Guys, I have to wake up and do hair tomorrow. I have a full book. It's the holiday season in the salon. Oh my gosh. My studio. I don't have a salon. I have a hair studio. 
It is so busy in there. It's fun, though. It's so fun. And then the kids get out of school next week. Are y'all traveling for the holidays? Or are y'all staying home? Are y'all still getting custom orders, any of y'all? Thank y'all. <gasps> Candy cane. I bet you, oh my gosh, Ohio girl, I bet you that looks so cute. Oh, you're in Cali. Ah, girl. I love Cali. What part of California are you in? I've only been to San Diego. Thank you. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. It is so, it's so fun. I like doing, like, you know, not normal wreaths. I mean, this glitter, it is just, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So fun. I've never even heard of that. Sounds fancy, though. Marilyn. Girl, I wish it was cold here. It was 80 degrees. 80 degrees. So, okay. I bet it's beautiful. I love San Diego. I love San Diego so much. I looked up prices for houses, and I was like, never mind. I guess I'm going back to Texas. <laughs> I love California, though. It's so beautiful. Yeah, Maryland. Oh, man. Too cold. But I will say, I wish it was a smidge colder here. Because I just can't get into the Christmas spirit this year, guys. And I think it's because it, I'm, like, sweating to death still. I don't know what it is. I finally put up all my Christmas trees. I, besides my son's. I do trees in their bedrooms also. I bought him a new Christmas tree from at home. I got a really good deal on it, but the base is plastic, and when I was putting the tree together, it totally crumbled. The plastic base crumbled, so I had to go to Home Depot and buy um, a metal base. I was so bummed about that. Yeah, I bet it is. So nice. Ugh, Callie. You put up three trees. Oh my gosh. Did you post them on your on your tiki talkie? I bet you they're beautiful. All right, I have three of y'all down. I'm gonna I'm gonna follow y'all. I'm excited. Follow some new people. I know. I want to say this guy I follow lives in Maryland. That's a wreath maker who lives on like a horse ranch, and I am so so jealous of his lifestyle because his ranch looks. Fabulous. Okay, good. I'll be looking for them. I think it's he's in Maryland. I don't know, but he makes these super cute horse wreaths also, like horse heads. They look awesome. They look so awesome. All right, guys. Y'all have anything else? Any more gossip? Anything else to talk about? <laughs> um... I have to go, I have to cut hair tomorrow, and then I will come on again tomorrow, either tomorrow night or Sunday, for sure, and, um, thanks. Oh, you have two gorgeous. Okay, good. Yes, post them so I can see them, Georgia Peach. I love your name. Um... But yeah, I'll definitely hop on here because I have two more. I have a double swag again. I made that peppermint double swag. Did y'all see that? Well, someone saw it and wanted wanted the same thing. Um, so I'm going to make two of those. And I have to, guys, I have to make like seven of those deco mesh angels. We're all on here. Y'all want to see these? I and mean, I only have one right now because I already gave some away for our gifts. But I made these for teacher gifts this year. Oh, you're originally. Did you say where you're where you live now? You're originally from Georgia. Doop, doop, doop. So I'm gonna make these two on live because I need to make like seven more, I think. But they're so fun. So cute. Ooh, I do have a Mardi Gras wreath. Y'all probably don't even know what Mardi Gras is though, because y'all don't live in the South. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> No, not yet. Not yet. I need, to, I need to try to make them a six-inch mesh, though. I do. I bet you they're super cute. 
I bet you they because those are kind of big, I feel like, for a Christmas tree, but I bet you the six-inch ones would be super, super cute, because we do. <laughs> I don't, you'll want to see, I'm making this custom wreath for Mardi Gras. Let me show you this client of mine. I am so stoked about this wreath. It's going to be something I've never made before. She gave me... It's called a Mardi Gras shoe. I've never even heard of this, and I live next door to Louisiana. Um, I didn't know they have, like, Mardi Gras shoes. Well, if I can get this to untie itself. Ugh. It's going to be so fun, though. Look at this. She wants me to attach this to the wreath. Look how fun that is, though. So, I was thinking about just threading, um, like, gold pipe cleaner here and then through here and attaching it. Yeah. They are so fun to make. So, this, I don't know. This is going to be, this is going to be fun. And I'm going to put some, like, masquerade mask on it. And then she sent me, look, guys, she sent me... A box of beads so I'm gonna put beads on it it's gonna be so fun I know I love a good challenge okay let me put this back in the box so I don't lose it put that over there also um oh I bet you that was so pretty I love that. I love that. Also, you know, my other goal is, guys, for next year is to organize my craft room and keep it organized because I don't even, it might look okay from my camera angles, but oh my gosh, it looks like a bomb exploded in here of craft boxes. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> So, I got some more bookshelves to, like, stack mesh in. I have, um, I got rain gutters and cut them and drilled them into the wall to hold my ribbon. Um, but the problem is, is I'm such a ribbon hoarder that, um, a ribbon collector that I don't, I ran out of space. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, so I have eight gutters attached to my wall and they're all full. And then I have my tables full. I have shelves over there that's full. I, do, I have a problem. I, uh, it's such a problem. Yes. Okay, we all have to clean our craft rooms. After Christmas, take a breather, and then we're all going to organize our craft rooms together. I need to. I for sure need to. All right, guys. I got to hop off here because it's 1030, and I got to go to bed and do hair and make people look beautiful in the morning. Right? They just, husband, they just don't get it. They just don't get it. Yes. Yes. You know what we should do, guys? For content, we should do a before and after of our craft rooms. Before and then that bing after when it's all clean. <laughs> that would be a good one for the uh, other place that we don't talk about, ladies. Thank you. You too. Have a good night. And this has been so fun. I'm glad that y'all sticked with me and we could talk. Because I haven't done this before and I, I enjoy this. And I am going to follow y'all. I have y'all written down. So, it's going to be great. Night, guys. I'll see you maybe tomorrow night or for sure Sunday. See ya, guys.